expanding Sakachi's ambitions to the world. Toyota Motor, which is now a major global company. At first from this child. A long time ago, when there were no cars. Poor countryside. A boy who was weak, heard a rumor. If visit a shrine and pray, then your body gets stronger. It takes one day even for an adult's foot to reach there. However, parents allowed him to go alone. He left home early morning, walked through, and arrived in the evening. The next morning, visits the shrine. He came back when it was dark. He was such a strong-willed child. The persimmons of the temple were stolen by the children. The priest said at the children's gathering in the village. Who stole persimmons, come forward now. Everyone became silent and calmed down. At that time, a boy confessed. I was the one who stole the persimmon. That was Sakachi. Another child stole it, but he became a substitute. While flying a kite on a nearby mountain. Worried about life in a poor village. The village and the whole country were suffering from extreme poverty. When helping the father's work of the carpenter, at the elementary school. He heard the teacher's voice from the classroom. There are people in foreign countries who invented in a hard time. Invention? Oh, I see. Invention, invention. Sakachi's heart moved violently. But for me. Yes, sure, that person was also a carpenter. If I make an effort, I may be able to do it. A bright sign came into Sakachi's eyes. Invention. I will definitely invent. But, his father didn't forgive him. But what should I invent? The days of thinking continued several days. Machine. What exactly is a machine? I definitely want to see the machine. The steam locomotive wasn't running yet. So, over six days, he walked far to Tokyo. Sakichi eagerly looked around the machine. Visited the Yokosuka shipyard. From inside the house, he heard a clackety-clack sound. Mother is weaving from morning till night. That's it. If I make a weaving machine my mother's work must be easier. There is nothing I can't achieve if I bet all my life. Sakichi decided on his mind. Hiding from his father, in a remote hut. Sakichi rewrote the drawing many times. As father didn't allow him to enter the house, mother gently left food in the hut. At that time, he happened to know, an exhibition of foreign machines, would be opened in Tokyo. Every day at the exhibition, from morning to evening. He sat down in front of the machine and sketched. Sakichi watched the movement of the machine, eagerly, and many times. Was told that he was an obstacle, and he argued. Saying, Even Japanese people should be able to invent. He was helping with the carpentry, so. He was used to handling trees. Repeated trial and error over and over again. Finally, a wooden loom was ready. First, he informed his mother. Mother shed tears and was pleased. This is very, very convenient. Sakichi's wish has come true, at this moment. Looking back, it was a series of hard, and, painful years. Severely scolded by his father. Some people treated him like a fool. But, supported by a kind mother. Wishing to make everyone's life easier. He has reached this far, with a strong belief. If you endure a hundred hardships and train with a thousand pieces of training, you can accomplish anything. This is Sakichi's favorite word. He patented the machine. Made a lot of wooden looms. Eventually, 
weaving machines that combine wood and iron. After repeated improvements, finally, the iron loom was completed. Many people came to see the factory where weaving machines are lined up. Famous person, ministers, and so on visit here. Rumors spread, to the world. A British company, which was running at the top of the world. The president of the company came to see and said, This is a great machine. This is a great machine. A really splendid machine. Absolutely, let me produce it at our company. Finally, the weaving machine made by Sakichi Toyota is received the highest honor in the world. Even if you are frustrated a hundred times, let's face up without being discouraged. This was Sakichi's way of life. And this ambition was inherited by Sakichi's son. Developed to Toyota of the world. The Toyota Group has a principle called the Toyota Missions. This is a summary of Sakichi Toyota's thoughts. One of them is as follows. Everyone who works at Toyota, should take their work with all their heart. And fulfills the great cause, for the sake of the country and society. This is the corporate philosophy, that has been maintained. As the core of Toyota's management, since its founding. With the poor boyhood of Sakichi. For children in the world in similar circumstances. A book has been published to convey this excitement. Surely. Must inspire children. Would you like to publish in your country's language? We have a great track record, in a foreign country. One of our readers says, it's the most inspirational book, I've ever read. For the future of your precious youth and for the development of your country. We will cooperate with you. We are a group of towns, where Sakichi Toyota's birthplace is located, and trying to convey the aspirations of Sakichi Toyota, to young people of the world. Mr. Minoru Nasuda's book, Satoko's Diary has become a bestseller, with over 1 million copies. His wife is also a writer, and a movie based on her book, Small Red Gloves has been made into a movie. Sakichi's achievements are exhibited at the Toyota Sakichi Memorial House in Kosai City. And many people visit here from abroad. Kosai City is located on the border of Lake Kamana and the Pacific Ocean and is surrounded by abundant nature. Moreover, since there are many companies that support the Japanese industry, this city has an ideal environment that makes it easy to live and work. We are looking forward to hearing from you. Learn dot from dot Sakichi at gmail dot com. This video was created with the cooperation of the following organizations and individuals. The illustrations in this video are used under each permission. Thank you for your viewing.